varmt välkomna till Svenska Akademin och detta års tillkännagivande. Jag heter Mats Malm. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2024 is awarded to South Korean author Han Kang for her intense poetic prose that confronts historical traumas and exposes the fragility of human life. Det kommer ledamöterna i Nobelkommittén medan Mattsson och Anna-Karin Palm att svara på I was able to talk to Han Kang on the phone. She was having a, an ordinary day, it seems, had just finished supper with her um, son. Uh, she wasn't really prepared for this, but um, we have begun to, st to discuss preparations for December. We look very much forward to meeting her here then. In her oeuvre, Han Kang, as expressed in the Academy citation, confronts historical traumas and in each of her works exposes the fragility of human life. She has a unique awareness of the connections between body and soul, the living and the dead, and in her poetic and experimental style, has become an innovator in contemporary prose. is a very, very special writer and a very complex and rich of that spans many different genres. And this is the, the decision we reached this year to, to award Hong Kong the Nobel Prize in Literature. Well, it's not a connection in how we evaluate or how we reach the decision. What we look for is always literary quality, but I think that this writer is also someone that can talk to many people all over the world because her main theme is, is I would say, about survival. And even whether she writes about traumas, pain and loss on an individual level or on a greater political scale where certain events, historical events, can traumatize generations. She always does this with the same compassion and care. And this, I think, is something that is quite uh, remarkable with her author authorship. It's really difficult to say because I've read her so intensely and extremely now, so I like many, but I think the, the novel Human Acts is very important, very sometimes quite terrifying read, but also with the tenderness of her style, it becomes a sort of counterforce to the brutality of the, the powers that she is confronting, and that's very impressive. Well, not really. When we make the decision, it's not relevant. I mean, we have, we try to read from all over the world, and we have experts, uh, regional experts, that also help us with the tips. But I mean, the the actual decision is always based on purely on literary quality. This is what we're looking for. Intimacy and the ultimate conditions of language. In the novel Human Acts from 2014. Thank you. 